Uh, how was the process for putting together two weeks, which has just become a huge, a huge rock process? Now that, that's been uh, interesting because um, that song I wrote completely on my computer in 2007. Okay. And uh, brought to the band. They're like, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. It feels like, well, this riff here is really good, but this one here is, yeah, you don't need it. So took a few things out. And then um, when we first, we finally, had, before we went down to the studio, we had the structure, the way we wanted it. And the solo section is just the three chords, the basic chords. So I'm like, well, I'm going to add layering later. We'll see what happens. Um, so in the studio, I wrote all the you know, That made it like, oh, you know, right. come together. And the only part of that song that remained intact in original writing was the solo section. Really? Yeah, which is unusual, to say the least. That didn't change at all. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So, solo I'd written a year before, a whole section. Uh, you know, say the same. Usually that's the last thing that you write. So, it's kind of funny how that works out. Right. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the verse riff, you know, that, 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 that was supposed to be like a, like a pre-chorus originally, and Phil was like, oh, it's a quick riff, you know, and, you know, he was very persistent about it, I'm like, okay, let's, let's beat the hell out of it, you know, and uh, it worked out great because you have, you know, that riff coming in just by itself, the snare drum, then you have the harmonies, mm -hmm. and then you have the, uh, the rhythmical counterpoint, uh, the pre-chorus, with um, playing the upper riff, so I think we get the most out of that one riff. Without having too many different parts, it's you know, works out good. Right. You know, and of course, having it all clean, clean singing, it helps being on the radio. <laughs> you know, and it just that song just really was. We had to work at it, and we didn't give up on it. And uh, you know, I think that it's a lesson in sometimes if you strip everything down to the bare basics and then build up, you're gonna be in better shape. If you come in with too much stuff, I lose sight of what you're trying to do. Right. You know, right. Do you think that uh, it's it was a more difficult song to write than usual? Um, I think that we, we thought it was a dud. We're like, because the chorus was just three chords. Da, B, C, B, C. We're like, like, I know it's boring right now, but the others don't work, you know. Nice. And but again, once I sat there and I wrote, you know, I wrote the peaking part and the portal part, and then the vocals over the top of it, it was like, oh, now we have a good song. Nice. You know? nice. So it, uh, yeah, it, it kind of, kind of came together slowly. I almost, I almost gave up on it. You know, you know there's a few songs like that that always are like, ah, I'm just like a hammer away. Let's just do something different. Right? Yeah, be persistent. Yeah, that's, that's how stuff gets done. Yeah, that's, that's a whole life, I think. <laughs> now, what about the video? I mean, there's. Where did the inspiration come from that? Was it you guys? Was it the directors? Uh, it was the directors, usually. Uh, we have ideas presented to us on the treatment. And, um, you know, they're like, well, we want to try this. And we're like, let me shoot down. And like, yeah, it's not so good. But that idea I thought was interesting enough. You know, it was basically us in a 90 degree warehouse in LA uh, shooting 40 takes. Which I uh, remember Jason had to be in every one. I didn't have to do all 40, but that's brutal. It's brutal, yeah. So, yeah, it was a hot, sweaty day, you know. You didn't get a deodorant sponsorship or something. I know. Right? <laughs> and the, uh, all the acting, of course, is done after the video when we're all gone. Like, the girl came in while, you know, while we were playing, you know, she's coming up to her, whatever she's doing, and I'm trying to laugh. Right. It's right. kind of silly when you're looking at it. But uh, all the real acting was done after we left. Okay. The next day we shot Chiron, so it was a two-day affair with the same uh, producer or director. How many takes was that? Chiron eight. It's not as bad. An air conditioned room in the evening. <laughs> oh my God, it was cake. You know, we said, okay, we're just gonna do. We did the big, you know, big story video. Let's do just the basic, you know, white background. Cool. Right. You know, we were exhausted from doing two weeks. Yeah, so you know, we're gonna bang two out with one guy, let it happen, you know, stay one in LA. So we did Chiron, it was I thought it was cool because it was uh, just showcased the band performing. We just on 
white background, nothing else. Uh, that was a cool video. That's really cool. My, my friends, my friends like the part where I uh, just throw my guitar down. And it's, 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 I, I think I got that from my um, classical guitar teacher. You know, you always sit up straight, comes on guitar. And it's, you know, you're a student of Segovia, you're very tense, dramatic. And uh, it was kind of uh, in honor to him. You know, I thought, man. Do you know if you've seen it? Huh? Do you know if you've seen it? No, I haven't. I lost so much of him. I got it. He teaches at the college. I love the guy, he's a great guy. Um, if anyone sees this, get a hold of the teacher. Yeah, his name is Philip Primary. Uh, I, uh, when I'm home, I think I'm gonna uh, look him up or uh, something. I haven't seen him perform before. Uh, it's a great performance. Tennis, great team. Really? Yeah. Uh, is that Massachusetts too? Or? Yeah, Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's going to tell me, you know, all the classical guitar stuff. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, 